how much does it cost to run a pool pump? Well, there's a lot of variables that we need to determine in, in order to answer that question in a meaningful way. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bench test of a pump now so that you can see an example. And this pump is 1.5 horsepower. That's a very common pump size. So a lot of people will have a pump that is approximately 1.5 horsepower. Now, horsepower ratings or power ratings for pumps is a little bit misleading on purpose from pump manufacturers. And so it's important to not get too caught up in the horsepower ratings, uh, but that we will give you an example here of 1.5 horsepower. And what we're going to look at is how much it costs to run this pump. So again, we need to qualify that statement a little bit further. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at what would it cost to run this pump for one hour? Now we're going to ramp up the RPM to maximum RPM 3,450 and we're going to look at the real-time electrical consumption under those conditions. And well, whether you have a variable speed pump that's 1.5 horsepower, or you have a single speed pump that's 1.5 horsepower, both of those will perform very similarly under these conditions. They're both running at maximum speed. There's a slight efficiency difference between the, the motors, but ultimately they'll be pretty close. So for this example, if you have a 1.5 horsepower pump, this is approximately how much power you're going to consume. And then I'll show you how to figure out how much that actually costs you. So we'll take a look right now. We'll ramp this pump up to maximum speed. And let's take a look at the electrical consumption. Two hundred and forty volts is our electrical service. The current draw is ten amps. Two point two nine or two point three kilowatts. And if you're not sure what that is for wattage, two point two nine kilowatts would be two thousand two hundred and ninety watts. So at 2.3 kilowatts of power consumption, what you need to determine is how many hours you run the pump. And that would help you to determine what your total electricity bill is. But since we're just trying to determine a single hour of operation, because then you can apply that to your own situation, whether you run your pump for eight, four hours a day, eight hours a day, 12 hours a day or more, you'll be able to apply this calculation to your specific situation. So at, at 2.3 kilowatts, again, that's about 2,300 watts. And the electricity rates that you pay is by the kilowatt hour. Now, depending on where you live, will determine what you pay for electricity. We could consider the nationwide average, which is about 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So at 2.3 kilowatt hours times 13 cents per kilowatt hour, you are approximately 30 cents. So that means for every hour, this pump operates at maximum speed. And again, this is a 1.5 horsepower pump. That is, that's how much you're going to be paying about 30 cents. So what if you ran it all day like that, 24 hours a day? That would be $7.20 per day. And after 30 days, that's $216. And that's why people don't run single speed pumps 24 hours a day, because it would cost an arm and a leg to do so. But now you have an idea just how much power a 1.5 horsepower pump consumes and what that means to your electricity bill. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.